Okay, for the record here, a lot of people saying you can't run uh, kerosene heaters on diesel. And this is my old kerosene heater I've had since, oh God, late 80s, early 90s. You can see it's, it's been through the mill. It's a little beat up, but man, it still works. Been running on diesel now for about six hours here in my little two bedroom house, little two bedroom apartment. Um, I'm firing up the uh, gas detector here. This is a professional type gas detector you would use if you was going down in a confined space like a manhole or a vault. Has a clip on the back, just strap it to you and has all the little alarms and everything. Uh, it's it's gone through its self test. You can see it's zero on the carbon monoxide. Room oxygen is at 20.9. Uh, that's normal room oxygen after six hours of burning on the diesel in the heater there. Uh, everybody says you have to use the 1K kerosene or you'll die. And you can see, like I said, six hours. Six hours and there, there's no carbon monoxide in here and there's no change in the oxygen level. I haven't opened the doors, there's no window open. Um, I'm not dead. So yeah, the only difference is I put about uh, about three ounces of 90% of isopropyl alcohol in a gallon of diesel. That kind of pulls out any water that might be in it and it gives it a little more storage, makes it burn a little bit a little bit easier. Gives it, you know, some more igniting power. And uh, there's no problem, no issues with it. Uh, 1K kerosene is what five or six, seven dollars a gallon. Right now, diesel is like 2.30 a gallon. Come on, you know, kerosene diesel, same thing almost. And uh, yeah, I'll be burning diesel in this thing for a while now. Wish I'd been doing it the whole time. Would saved a lot of money.